Alright guys, welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we are going back with the Rakdos Knights deck. Uh, obviously, uh, the first time we played this deck, uh, we got two wins and one loss. That one loss was very heavily dependent on my misplays. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, I didn't uh, I didn't perform very well in that deck, but or in that game. But uh, regardless, we are going to do our best to see how this will go uh, today. So... Very, very strong first hand. Uh, we'll give it a shot. We're going to go Fervent Champion into uh, potentially Shadow Spear, actually. Uh, not played much with that card. I'm still learning this deck, by the way. Uh, I've only played it uh, on camera, so uh, we're, we're in a learning experience altogether. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get this out. Uh, Oh, I see. Okay. And then we'll just throw this out. Um, yep. And we'll go ahead and attack. All right. Next turn, we have Stormfist Crusader up to help draw some cards, potentially. Uh, or we can just equip Shadow Sphere. Either way, uh, we're in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and equip this to Knight of the Evan Legion. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and attack. Start getting some counters and some life. Uh, it's going to pump this up a little bit and hopefully make it a little bit more difficult to deal with on the opponent's side. Uh, they can have... Um, obviously, a Bone Crusher Giant would be kind of bad here, but it is what it is. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, interesting that they went for the Fervent Champion. Hmm. Um, okay, well, let's attack first. So now the question becomes, do we Drill Bit or do we Stormfist Crusader? Uh, I kind of think we Drill Bit here. Um, against these decks in particular, it's a little bit tricky, so I'm going to take this Bone Crusher Giant so as not to uh, lose too much damage there. Um, Bone Crusher Giant is just such a backbreaking card, um, unfortunately. Yep. Um, Incubation is going to be interesting. It was a very interesting card just in general. Sure. Being stuck on land here is also pretty gnarly for us, but... Hopefully we can draw a land here. If not, we'll Stormfist Crusader either way. Get him for one. Cool. Still no land. I don't think we can attack then. Like, that's my... <sighs> can we? So they do have the uh, incongruity, which is really backbreaking for us. Um, I'm going to attack here. If they want to trade this off, that's fine. If not, then, you know. And I assume they're going to play incongruity on this guy. That's fine. Uh, we have the backup. And we really just need guard draw, so. Yeah, very good. Incubation, okay. Brazen Borrower, yeah. Very, very good here. Bounce a lot. Us being stuck on land here is really, really not good for us. Normally it's not as bad uh, when you're in an aggro deck, of course. It's really not as bad, but on two when you've got a lot of threes uh, in the deck like Rotting Regisaur that you really want to get out. Obviously a problem. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do this. And then let's play this back out. Um, these are the cards they know about. I'd like to go ahead and get those back out and hopefully again start drawing some cards here. Don't want to discard quite yet for the Regisaur. Uh, but we can certainly uh, play that out next turn and then 
Um, hopefully have some really, really nice pickups here. Okay. Hmm. I think we play the Regisaur here. Do I attack with the Crusader? Uh, they do have to double block it, so I do have the option of then killing the Innkeeper. So I'm going to do that. Um, if they want to double block, that's fine. But I definitely want to get rid of this Innkeeper so they're not drawing extra cards off of just uh, that. We will take a big hit here. That's fine. That is very not good, though. Pay of Wishes is just way, way too good. Uh, we definitely struggle against these decks. I think we saw that in the first uh, episode as well uh, of this deck. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, Fling. Fling is such a cool card. So we go down to nine. Down by nine, I should say. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So they can fling this, get us down very, very far, um, but they don't. Okay. Discard an Ember Cleave. So we can equip this. Lock. Gain some life back. And then we pass with the Paragon up to trade with the Beanstalk Giant, theoretically. That's a very big theory. Ooh, yeah. Great Hinge is sweet. Yep. Yep. Did not swing in. So we'll go ahead and play this. Mostly so we can Ember Cleave. Discard a card, get rid of the champion here. Uh, they do have the Aether Gust to deal with the Ember Cleave, but. Hmm. I don't know if this is 100% correct. Probably not. I think we still lose this. Because they just get to Aether Guess this. But we'll try it. We will put it on top. 
but I don't know that that's correct either. We're just trying to get him down as far as possible. Like, that's literally all we care about. Um, but they're gaining life on everything, and yeah. This on top of an attack from this and fling just means I think we're we're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I maintain Heartfire. Uh, so we played a one of Heartfire in the mono red deck. It was very very good, uh, in my opinion. And. Uh, we won a couple games off of just heart firing the opponent. I'm not saying this would have solved that issue because uh, I guess it could have, but it it would have been a little bit tight. I think though that that is a very very powerful card in a deck like this where you just have a lot of creatures to to sack. We did put up a fight though on this one. I don't necessarily think there was a huge misplay. Um, there were definitely some things we maybe could have changed, but uh, yeah. We'll just go ahead and concede here. All right. Uh, well, we did not get that game, but uh, still, we will see if we can uh, get through a couple games here and at least get one win. All right. Jump back in. Um, as always, guys, if you have not checked out our Patreon, our link is down below. Uh, the only way that we get these proxies out that are rotating down below as well is through our Patreon. Um we set them up as reward tiers, essentially depending on the ones that you might want. Uh, you can pledge a certain amount per month, and we'll send you new ones every month too. So it's not like you're you're stuck into um, just the just the first round or anything. Uh, we we don't sell them uh, because one that's very money grabby in my opinion, but two uh, we legally can't. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna pass here and just Paragon. Uh, so that's the only way to get them. Uh, we do release a lot of new proxies. We've been kind of jumping back into playing or, uh, uh, making quite a lot more proxies le recently, uh, which is really, really fun. And we've gotten a lot of good stuff out there. So, uh, please do check that out. We would certainly appreciate it. Uh, we'll play Knight of the Ebon Legion. I'll swing in. I'm gonna leave up Paragon uh, again here, or sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably could have just played the Regisaur, but that's fine. Yeah, you got it. Uh, not gonna bump instead just gonna play the Regisaur here <clears throat> And we do have the discard fodder with the lock Thwain since we can't double up on him or can we do no we can't right? Oh, we can look at there I Always think these are legendary because they represent like a legendary castle um, but obviously I am incorrect incorrect um, Let's see Good, good. Daxos, fine. Discard. I'm still going to discard that one because we're not going to be doubling up too often. Uh, we'll swing in with everything. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
definitely just going to do that. And then we'll do this. It was a three for one. That felt great. Uh, and then we'll drill a bit here. Very bad, very bad, very bad. All these are very bad. Uh, but we definitely take that. Play that in Hushbringer. Should have swing with both. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, should not have attacked with the Paragon last turn, like 100%, but whatever. Um, I do this, I can't do that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you gain a life. That's cool. Resolve. Pay the spectacle cost. Get Spawn of Mayhem out. Yep. They could trade this, but it doesn't look like they're going to. I'm going to do this now. Uh because there are cards that we could want to play. Why would it leave up? God, that's so silly. Um, yeah, let's do it. They can double block this, that's fine. Um, what do I care about more? I guess this? I mean, neither one's at this point the most threatening thing in the world, but okay, yeah. Play Champion, play Stormfist Crusader, we'll attack with the spawn. They're gonna want to block here. Or not. Okay. I mean, they can gain life, like, that's fine, but, I mean, this is just gonna shoot them. So, we'll see what they do. <clears throat> We're going to get two cards this turn. Uh, neither of these can block, right? Oh, I see. Um, yeah, no, not going to block. I thought they were just tagging with the healer's hawk. That was just a mistake. Bone Crusher Giant. All right, well. That would have just won us the game either way, so that's good. Uh, we did get a win. Okay, so let's try one more time. Uh, we'll see what we can do with this deck. Uh, wow, lots of lots of coin. I like it. Uh, I do really like this deck. I think it needs a little bit of work. Um, it needs a like very efficient way to finish the game. I think Bone Crusher Giant kind of does the job, uh, but I don't think it's perfect. Um, this is an interesting hand. I'm going to try it. It's a bit slow, if I'm honest. I mean, Fervent Champion gets out there very quickly. That's awesome. Uh, but it has a lot of land. And drawing land is not great. So uh, They're going to be a damage dealing deck, though, that's for sure. Yep. Yep. The Skrull aggro deck is mean, mean. Second champion. Well, it's a guard to play. <clears throat> we'll pass. The Rotting Registor might be very, very good here, though, because... I don't know how much they can do against that. Um, sure, Bone Crusher that, that makes sense. Uh, we'll pass. So we'll play out Regisaur here. And we'll swing in with Champion. It's not gonna do much else at this point, so might as well get the point of damage in. I don't know how many ways they have to deal with the Regisaur, and that's that's our key blocker at the moment, obviously. Thankfully, we have a backup as well, which is quite good, but 
Um, we will probably end up losing this Ember Cleave, but I don't think that that's the worst thing in the world. Uh, we'll discard a Blood Crypt first, though. Draw another one. Um, so let's run this out here, get a second one done, and then we'll just throw this out tapped. Uh, do I want to attack? Yeah, I kind of do. They can double block, but we just two for one them then. Uh, so I'm fine with that. Were they stuck on land? I think they might have been. Heavily considering the double block, it looks like. Cool. Fine by me. That just means we don't have to discard the Ember Cleave here as, all, as well, which is great. If they swing in, we don't block. Uh, they could have Bone Crusher. Or they could just have a Gruel Spellbreaker. Also a very good card, though. Uh, cool. Discard that. All right. Well, I mean, we're going to Ember Cleave it. <laughs> they can deal a lot of damage next turn, so we do have to be a bit careful here. But, I mean, this is almost too good to pass up. Uh, if they do decide to block, great. Uh, we get rid of a threat. Um, if they try and double block, that's very bad for them. So let's keep the pressure on and win it. Sweet, uh, two and two one uh, with this deck again. Uh, much less miss playing this time around. Uh, very very sweet games though. I do really like this deck. So uh, if you haven't tried it, please do. Um, I'll try and remember to link the list down below. By the way, uh, I know I haven't been doing much of that, so I need to to make sure that we do. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please of course make sure to leave a like or a comment down below as always. Uh, and thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next gameplay video.